Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Talk a little bit about multiplying radicals. And this is a, this is a fairly common situation uh, and one you should recognize immediately. If you have a problem uh, or a simplification problem that looks like this, 6 to the 7th, all of it squared, you know immediately that the 7 is going to pop right out of the radical because <clears throat> it's already been, it's already been uh, squared. So, in fact, this problem becomes 6 times 7, 6 times 6 times 7, because you're squaring the 6. So you have two sixes times a seven. And so you would get uh, 36 times seven, 42, 21, 244. 21, no, 200, 21, 25, 252. Sorry about that. Always good to slow down. Uh, so let's do another one just to uh, recap. We have uh, the same thing with cubes. If you have cube root of something, we'll say 5 to cube root uh, of 4 cubed, or to all to third power, uh, you know that the, the 4 is just going to pop right out, and you're going to have three fives. One, two, three fives times 4, which would give you, um, <clears throat> well, 25 times 5 times 4, 20, 25 times 20, uh, 25 times 20 is 500, right? Yeah, 500. So that would be your answer. From this from this here to this. Thanks for watching. Again, the big um, big issue is just to remember if anything, if you have a square over uh, multiplying a radical, especially if it's a, um, a squared radical, then you will just pop out that number that's under the radical and give it its own value. It's original value. Thanks for watching. And we'll take that over to Wolfram Alpha and take a look at it. Um, and we'll see here is the format for writing that. There is the input, and that is the result. Thanks for watching.